Hello, y'all. It's your boy, Sin. It's the back with another episode, uh, another exercise. But before we get into this video, we got some business we need to handle. If you're new to the channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button right here in the corner. Tap it. Press it. Push it. Did you push it? Did you tap it? I bet you did. I bet you did. Anyway, welcome to another episode of... Uh, uh, another workout video with your boy Shane Star. I'm still at it um, today. Um, now I'm up to doing chest flies, cable chest flies like this to really work the chest. Um, so I got the weight at 7.5, and as y'all know in my other videos, I was telling y'all about these little weight things that's on the top of the weight. I don't know, maybe they two pounds, three pounds, I don't know what they are in weight size and weight. But it is what it is. So I'll leave them on there. I ain't counting no reps. I'm doing sets. If I lose track, I ain't worrying about it. I'm just getting it in. So Looking for that. I like in the weight so I can really feel that that burn in the muscle. That's what I'm looking for. And of course, I'm at a truck stop at a petrol. Getting it in instead of laying around in my truck. They told me the fitness room was free, and I've been in here for a minute. I've been in here for a good minute. Drivers is, I seen drivers in the theater room across the hall for me. So, hey, it is what it is. I'm getting it in. So, I was in here about maybe 4.30 or 6.18 right now, Eastern time. So, I've been in here for a minute. I'm really getting to work my chest. That's what I want to work on. And I probably... Do another hour and a half. Go back to the truck, get my shower back. I'm take a shower, go eat dinner, take me a protein shake, and call it a night. And uh, just relax, probably just just relax. Read over my goals. I gotta read over my goals. I haven't been reading over my goals and the things that I want to get done. So um, gotta get that done. Let's hit this. So that was set number one. So. I'm using a light weight, so it doesn't pull me back. I got full control of the weight. You don't have to go heavy. You know, you don't have to go heavy. I just, I did light weight with a higher rep. And since I'm super setting, I'm doing super sets today. Um, boy, I, f I, I feel that. I'm a, I know I'm going to be sore because I feel that. I already feel it. So, um, you don't have to go heavy with the, with the cable flies. You can go light 
gradually build your strength up and get your body used to that. Get your body used to that. Because see, this is stuff that I can't do in my truck with my dumbbells laying on the bed. So, and then I'm always on the move trucking wise so they get to a gym and really get to work out what I want to work out. I really can't until either I get back home and y'all know that's very rare for me back home, so. But I already feel this cable fly. This is gonna tear me up right here. And hey, let it tear me up, right? That's how you grow, right? You gotta go through the pain for the game. Let's go. Okay. <clears throat> Let me move up. Yeah, this is gonna be a Yeah. I ain't even gonna worry about keeping hell on the sets. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna bang out. Bang out. So go ahead and get it in. Feel like I'm liking that. So when I get my when I get my house, I'm gonna make sure I have me a nice gym in my house and stuff like that. Because your health is your wealth. And I'm gonna be doing a lot of traveling, vacation wise, coming up in the future. The business is going good. My company's going. My company's doing very good. Um, I haven't hired no new drivers yet. I'm working on finishing on repairing my truck, and I want to get some things in my personal life squared away and, and finished with. And then it's going to allow me to do a lot more for my business and stuff like that. So. In due time, man, in due time. You know, I'm just running my, I'm running my marathon. I ain't trying to run nobody else's marathon. I'm running my race. Well, it's not a race. It's a marathon, because you got to be in it for the long run, so. Let's hit this. Whew. Oh, man. You know, that soreness is going to be worth it, though. Yeah. Excuses. No excuses. <clears throat> yeah, bro, I'm gonna be sore up here. Definitely gonna be sore. Oh. 
No excuses, man. No excuses. Really ain't. Really ain't. I'm gonna lower these down. Then I'm gonna lower it down. No, I'm gonna leave it like that. I'm gonna leave it like that. I'm not gonna switch it up in the middle of the routine. Then I think I might do some 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 pull downs. I'm gonna see though. Today I kind of want to just really just focus on my chest and uh, get it in. Let's go. Let's go. Here we go. Like you hugging a tree. Like you gonna bear hug somebody. See, that's a good way because it doesn't pull me back and I'm keeping a lot of control on it. So, ooh. Yeah. Burning them calories up. And then I got my weight vest on the floor. So, I don't know how many sets that was, but. Like I said, I ain't worrying about it. Today's Superset Chest Friday. I'm just making it, uh, I'm making it Superset Chest Friday today because I have time to really work my chest out the way I want to. So, um, that's it. Now tomorrow when I get up to try to push myself up off that bed, oh, I'm going to be flames. It's going to be flaming in my sh because of these flies. I can barely do this. Oh, man. Y'all ready? Let's go. Oh, man. This one is... Tearing it up. Tearing it up, boy. Y'all already know. Committed to excellence. So, since we still early in 2019, what books have you started reading? What's your game plan as far as your tax money come? If you get a tax return, are you finally going to just go ahead and pay off that debt? Are you going to pay your bills in advance so when 
you might have a week where you out of work, a week when you out of work, you can already have the bills covered. Are you gonna invest some of that tax money and buy into companies and invest in companies or a high yield savings account? So what you plan on doing with your tax money? Or is you gonna go ahead and splurge it and buy Jordans, TVs, a car? You know, basically buy a uh, liability. What assets do you own? What companies you can say, hey, I'm a shareholder in that company. You know what I mean? Um, what YouTube videos are you watching tutorial wise? What is it that, what new skill are you trying to learn? Are you trying to learn how to cook a new dish for your family? Is you learning this hot, or are you just learning, or are you trying to learn how to cook in general? Are you learning how to try to eat better, try to get in shape, try to read better, expand your vocabulary, learning how to budget your money, learning how to control that uh, impulsive spending. That as soon as you get money, you want to spend it. So what is it that you're working on? Or are you just sitting around and letting time fly by and everybody else in the world is moving by you, moving past you? That's, that's what I'm thinking now. I love to hear y'all answers down below. Are y'all changing careers? Are y'all trying to get into a new career field? Uh, field? Are you trying to get better at your job? To move up? To get a raise? Are you planning on starting your own business? So what's the goal? Are you still spending, are you still spending more time outside? Doing nothing instead of doing something productive. So, are you still complaining about that job you at that you don't like, but you ain't doing nothing to try to find something that you would love to do? Because you just have a lack of confidence in yourself and your ability. Or you feel that you up in age and you can't make that transition for that particular uh, career that you want or your dream job. Do you got a lot of people around you that doubt your ability? Do you got a lot of people around you that's just complaining about the things that's not going on right in their life and they just, you just in that circle, you just continue to hang around that, that ball of negative energy. You have to move yourself, you got to break the cycle, it's on you to break the cycle. So. Just something to think about. Because to be successful, you gotta fail. You gotta fail your way to success. Because without failure, there's no success. I mean, no success. And without a left, there ain't no right. And without a, with, Without a right, there ain't no left. Ain't no up without a down. And there ain't no down without a up. So, 
right now you might be going through a hard time in life and you don't feel positive. But you got to speak positivity over your life. You got to love yourself more. Period. That's what you got to do. You got to love yourself more. You got you to gotta have a lot more self-appreciation for yourself. Don't wait for someone to come tell you or validate you. You know you're great. You know you're amazing. You know this. And just like I'm sitting here and I'm talking to you. Yeah, I'm talking to you. Doing right behind the camera. Yeah, you sitting there, you watching me, I'm talking to you. You sitting there and you at that job and you like, man, I'm sick of my supervisor. Man, I'm sick of this pay. Man, I'm sick of living like this. I'm sick of my bills being backed up. Do something about it. Because sitting around and complaining and being mad about going to work every day, where did that get you? Nowhere. All you did was complain some more to another co-worker or to your family or to friends in your block or your neighborhood. You got to pick up and, co and, and create action. Cause and effect. You got to create the cause to have the effect. A lot of y'all playing around with your grind. What you put in is what you get out. You don't put in the work, you ain't going to get the, you don't put in the work, you don't get the result. You put in half the work, you get a half result. Period. And understand, nothing comes easy. This is life. Life goes up and down. You have your good days, you have your good moments, and then you have them, them, them worst moments in your life. this video up. But back to what I was saying. There ain't no fast way to success. The road to success is not straight. It zigzags. It goes up and down. It goes through the valley. It goes through the sand. It goes through the desert. It goes through winter storms. It go through the rain. The seasons change. You don't know when that day gonna come, when your, your, your moment of opportunity gonna appear. It's not like when you order something from Amazon, you have an estimated date of arrival. When success happens, you just, the only thing is you gotta work at it every day, every day, every day, every day. Speak it every day. I'm gonna be successful. I'm gonna be a multimillionaire. I am gonna have a fleet of trucks. I am going to have my own hair salon for the women that want to have their own hair salon. I am going to open up my own beauty line. I am going to open up a gym. I am, whatever it is that you, I am going to get into real estate. I am going to start investing. I am going to open up my own detail polishing shop, car dealer, car dealer, uh, detailing shop. I am going to go ahead and finish school. It's on you. Because nobody out here going to do it for you. And as you sit around and you procrastinate, everybody else is focused and doing what they got to do with their life. So, if you want to let time pass you by? Go ahead. But in the next six months, when you realize, like, you have nothing, you have nothing because you've done nothing. So, I'm 
that note, if you like this video, be sure to hit the thumbs up. Leave your comments down below. If you're a critic of mine and you don't like nothing in this video, please hit your favorite thumbs down for your boy Sinister because like I tell you, support is support. If it's good or it's bad, to me, it doesn't matter. I'll see y'all on the next video. Peace out, much love, and success to you, your family, and everybody. Later.